In Commitment 2024, the Never Trump movement is cranking up the volume on its attacks. Yeah, right now, West 2 News political reporter Greg Fox brings us the voices of Florida voters who are part of a new ad blitz. Was I simply did not want Trump in office again as president. Doug says he's a Florida voter who previously cast a ballot for the former president, but voted for Joe Biden in 2020 or planned to vote for Biden this time, along with eight other Florida voters and 100 others around the country. Doug blames Trump for the insurrection January 6th, 2021. When they were saying hang Mike Pence, our vice president, uh, I just I just was unbelievable to me um, how he acted. It's part of a $50 million ad campaign launched by Republican voters against Trump. It's part of the Republican Accountability Project, which was launched by the publishers of the anti-Trump conservative news website, The Bulwark. We're elevating the voices of former, re former Republicans and former Trump supporters who will not be supporting Donald Trump in the 2024 presidential election. John Conway is with the group and tells me the ads will be on air and on digital in key states through November. It's going to be a rematch. Voters are starting to internalize that these are their two choices. And I think uh, we're going to see some more enthusiasm for Biden as we get closer to November because Donald Trump is such a grave threat to our democracy and to our country. Trump's disparagement of veterans has upset others, including Tina, whose husband died while serving in the Navy. When Trump said in a private conversation that these men were losers, these military service members we're losers. They're just a bunch of losers. And, I, and of course, I'm not saying it verbatim. That hurt. Paul in Orlando believes Trump failed during the COVID-19 crisis. I could never cast a vote for somebody who failed so miserably in his first term, particularly pertaining to the pandemic. Trump is fighting back with a new ad that dropped following President Biden's State of the Union speech, depicting him as too old to serve. Anyway. Just a preview of what Ad Impact is predicting will be a record spending year for political attack ads. The Republican Voters Against Trump campaign will also include billboards likely along I-4, the corridor between Tampa and Orlando, rich in independent voters. Greg Fox, West 2 News. Well, we have reached out for several days to the Trump campaign to respond to the new ad campaign and we'll update our story just as soon as we hear back.